No. Oh my gosh! No. This is the coolest thing I have seen in a long time. Ah! It's gonna be hard for me not to open this. Welcome home, Red Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. <laughs> but not just that, the CEO and founder of this channel actually does have an address in Encino, California. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Mail time! Camera flip! Dear Seth. Oh, not again. It's about to get a whole lot brighter up pack because your boy. Yeah, ah, and today is going to be so much fun because we got three packages right here from our official Comfort Cartoons grandmother, Faith Hildebrand, who is an amazing member of the rep pack. Many of you guys know her already from a previous video we did. She is basically the queen of SpongeBob collecting. Like, I mean, I've been doing this, you know, for a while now. Pretty much my adult life. Life, but I haven't even scratched the surface of the years of dedication that Faith has put into the Spongebob and collecting fandom. So when she sent her package last time, there were so many cool items she wanted to be able to add into the collection to kind of archive and preserve. And today, we have three new ones we're going to be going through. And just like with her last package, I have no clue what's going to be in these. But all I do know is we're going to probably see some stuff that we have never seen before. So I am extremely pumped to get into it. Let's go ahead and sit on down and get into the first box. But again, shout out to Faith and show her some love in the comments down below because this video would not be possible whatsoever, nor would this series be possible if it wasn't for you beautiful people. And in this case, Faith. So the fan mail address is on screen. You never have to send anything to this degree. We check out every little letter, fan art, all that stuff. And it truly, it, it means the world to me. And the same way I try to make these videos to hopefully bring a little smile to your guys' face if possible. But you guys are watching it, the smallest little letter and stuff like that that come in the fan mail. It makes my whole week. So thank you so much to everybody who sent stuff in in the past. And if you want to send something in, you're always welcome to do so. But anyway, let's get started. <laughs> All right, so we have a note here in the first one. So let's take a look here. I hope everything arrives to you in one piece. As I said before, you can do as you please with any of these items. The Winnie the Pooh items are for Mitchell. Dang. If he wants them. The lollies, unfortunately, did not age well. Ooh, there's lollipops in there of some kind. One was Patrick and one was SpongeBob and one was Mr. Krabs. You can toss them if you want. I just wanted you to see the packaging. Ooh, I love myself some packaging. Have fun, Faith, a.k.a. Grandma. Well, thank you so much, Grandma. I appreciate you so much. Sometimes that's what we hunt for, is just the packaging. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So let's see what we've got here. Let's get started. So grabbing it out here, I see the lollies here. Oh my goodness. This is why I say she was literally one of the OG queens of collecting the Nick Candy Whoa. SpongeBob Lollipop. So these are, <laughs> I don't even, I've never even seen these before, to be honest. These are called photo pops. So cleaning up the packaging a little bit here, you can see them a little better. It has been some rough years for these, but I totally understand that's just what happens. And the packaging on it is brilliant. And honestly, I will be keeping them. <laughs> I do not care that the popsicles are a little bit worn. For me, I may be a little strange, but you know, a lot of people collect what are called oddities. I don't really collect many oddities, but I do kind of find it satisfying that the food is like kind of moldy but at the same time it's still there you know it's like you get to yeah. see the process of its decomposition <laughs> in a weird way I mean, they have their shapes though so that's pretty good but if we have any advertising or any commercials we can pop up for photo pops i'll let you guys know but this is under the nick candy lines and a little history lesson on nick candy we've talked about it before that was originally the line that the krabby patty gummies that we all grew up with came out in and they had a bunch of other nick related candy whether it be for Jimmy Neutron, the Diggin' Dips, they had the Tune Pops, a few different items that came out. But of course, the campaign for that eventually faded away into obscurity or into the Comfort Cartoons Cavern. <laughs> <laughs> but the Krabby Patties stuck around and are just a 
staple in, in the candy industry now, pretty much. So this is one of those items that kind of, uh, you know, was lost in obscurity. And if it wasn't for people like Faith, there would be no way to actually still look at it. And right now, this is putting a big smile on my face. And for some of you guys at home that have grew up with this, you might be having a smile on your face or just the fun of watching the video or the nostalgia of going through this stuff. And that was all because she preserved it. And this is just right now. Maybe in another five years, some more people get to smile because of it. Maybe some other people are like, oh, I remember that. And I think it's so cool that Faith kept these. Mold or not, I think that's a beautiful, a beautiful piece there. So I'm hyped on that one. Let's see what else we got in here. So next up, we have a little SpongeBob Ooh, Ooh, green label, Dollar General, Spongebob like coin purse here. And he's so cute. He's got his uh, Christmas <laughs> face on, <laughs> but he's got the bubble around his head, kind of like when he's in Sandy's dome, but it's just like an actual bubble. And look at that, Dollar you, Dollar General, don't be going this hard these days, I feel like. There's glitter on the text, come on. It's so crazy, because I used to go to Dollar General all the time as a kid, and I just don't remember Spongebob stuff. Yeah, I mean, it had green label stuff there at one point in time. That's a clean, awesome green label tag on it. And of course, we're repping the green label shirt. I knew that Faith's package was gonna have a lot of green label stuff in here, so I wanted to represent with the green label merch, which is available now if you guys are interested in picking it up. Literally the cornerstone icon of the early generation of Fungebob, so an awesome item there. Okay, another Nick's Freshens item. We have Ooh. carton around here, and it's a little, that is the coolest little thing ever. It is a all grown up Rugrats, like literal milk carton. Garden. That is that such is a cool sweet. like weird item. It looks like you pull the sticker and it like keeps rolling out each time Yeah, exactly. So it's a bunch of different all grown up stickers Which is like such a little blip in the Klasky Supo timeline the all grown up era And of course this would have one of those collectible cards in it But I'm always held hostage by the fact that like I don't want to open it up because it's sealed You know, but at the same time I really want to get more of those cards But this is good because we got one checked out So if we ever find one of these again, I might be willing to open that one up since we already have one, you know? Yeah, especially with like all the other ones that we may or may not find. Yeah, and we already have some that we will be opening in the future, but I'm just trying to get a bunch of them before we do a full video of it. Maybe at least like 15 to 20 so we can try to get a bunch of the cards. But this is one that I can check off so if I ever find one of these at an affordable price or if we end up just, you know, stumbling across one, we'll be able to open that one up. Just an amazing item. 2004 on this one. So let's see what year this would have been. Maybe 2002, 2003? 2001! Ooh. Literally... 2001 is about as early as it gets. You will see some very rare items that'll have that 2000s on it. You rarely, next to never, see anything with 99 on it because that was the year SpongeBob came out. So it took a little while before it became like, oh, okay, let's start merchandising it. It's not like Disney where the movie's not coming out for a year and you have up the whole shelf, a whole slain of products. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Wish. I mean, I'm, I'm excited for the movie, though, to be honest, but man, it's a lot of merch. <laughs> so back then, it took a little time. You had to earn your stripes before they would give you merchandise. So usually you'll see stuff that is based off of 2000 or 2001. So that's a pretty early item there. Candy was 2004. And the candy, yes, is in right in that freaking peak era. Like I always say, 2004, 2006, just one of the best times to ever be alive as a Nickelodeon fan. You have the SpongeBob movie, you have the Nick Candy, you have the freaking Nick Spreads. There's so many cool things happening. All right, next up here, what do we got? That is Ooh. sweet. From the green and white label era, we have the <laughs> shampoo, shower gel, and lip balm. That is dope as heck. Can you, I, <laughs> can you keep selling this? Cause you know how like, convenient that is. <laughs> <laughs> that is really convenient. I mean, I wouldn't even, I don't even really use lip balm that often, you know, but I just usually use like Vaseline or whatever else, you know, that's like <laughs> smooth to have in my house and just, you know, do that. But I would definitely use some SpongeBob lip balm for sure. The only thing I I'd say is that like it does look like it's used a little bit but I think it's just because it, it evaporates over time the water content yeah or like, the oil or whatever it is yeah like no matter how sealed it is you still get a little bit of evaporation in there and then look at that adorable Spongebob here at the bottom just saying like the 2004 green and white label stuff was just like perfected the art of cute and marketability like it's just so cool looking so you have the back right there as well do we have any uh usually with green and white label we get a little uh, Nick trivia or Nick Nick knowledge, not on this one. But you have that travel tote logo right there, down with that Nick.com, the redone one after the green label. 
cool. And then we also have on there a little pool tag, which is SpongeBob himself as the pool tag on the little orange zipper piece. Just a whole vibe. Oh my goodness, nostalgic waves coming through. I had this. The Whoa. Nick Candy milk chocolate hollow egg with sour SpongeBob what candy inside of it, dude. That is a a sucker punch of nostalgia to the face. That is so crazy. I remember getting this out of my Easter basket as a kid. This is crazy. <laughs> That is amazing! So there you have it, the cover right there. You've got SpongeBob there on the Easter egg. Milk chocolate hollow candy, the Nick Candy branding on it. And then you've got this old SpongeBob logo. But you can see, let's see, 2003, I'm gonna guess. 2003, it's gotta be. Oh, it's 2005, okay. But it made me think 2003 because this was like right as Green Label was starting to transition. About 2004 was when you really saw the decline of Green Label. I mean, the shirt says 2004 was when, you know, there was a couple items that came out 2004 2005 and like very very minuscule items that were like released later in 2006 but the real like change happened in 2004 so I did not expect to see a green label item like it's not green label as, as we know it but it has definitely green label inspiration yes yeah, you know involved like and then on the side there you've got a little maze there with Spongebob and him as the Easter Bunny trying to make his way to Patrick down there and deliver his Easter basket and then on this side over here he says help spongebob find all five easter eggs mitchell you've got 10 seconds 10 5 i'm already done oh, oh. You gotta be such a damn show off okay. <laughs> so there we have it though just that iconic imaging on i love gary in the background they love the jellyfish is just like holding a uh, egg hostage yeah <laughs> all right so this stuff right here is for you mitchell and you're you know feel free to keep anything in here of course and whatever not we'll probably give it away to people on whatnot we have a piglet pin right here a little fuzzy piglet pin adorable that lights up you have a Winnie the Pooh in a Tigger costume <laughs> from the Tigger movie. You have a piglet also in a Tigger costume, a piglet, a uh, Mama Roo or a Roo, and then we also have Owl as well, all his little keychain lanyards. That's adorable. Yeah, oh, you can't forget Rabbit. Ooh. He'd be mad if he forgot Rabbit. True. <laughs> <laughs> can't be late either. <laughs> yeah. We have a Tigger book with all the stickers still contained inside of it. We have a Winnie the Pooh sticker book as well, which Dang. I can probably guarantee has all stickers. Oh, this is sick, dude. And you have an OG Winnie Whoa, the Pooh. 2000 calendar? Yeah. Dotin Children's book. So it's a hey, calendar. Wow. That is so cool, man. And you have stickers you can put on to kind of let you know like oh, okay this month you've got a birthday coming up like when you do that month you can be like oh okay this month you've got a birthday so you put the sticker right there or you can put it somewhere else on the page that way you just let yourself know hey there's a birthday this month you got to keep track of and then we have the one for 2000 what does it say the year 1978 there's no way is it yeah what the heck this is a calendar Jeez. from the 70s that is wild dude that is insane. This is as old school Winnie the Pooh as you could really imagine. Yeah, it literally 1970s calendar. Wow. Usually on this show, we cover stuff that's, you know, maybe at the latest, the late 80s, you know, because that's like Nickelodeon's, you know, kind of really groundings and merchandising starts in the in the 90s. That's what we usually talk about on this show. Very, very rare, but unless we're talking about Garfield, that we go back to the 70s. Yeah, true. That is amazing. So you get to see all the different wow. artwork there before Disney even like had their clutches fully on it. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so you have all those guys coming your way and we'll let Mitchell go through that and decide if he wants to keep anything or what he wants to keep and whatever not, we'll probably give away to you beautiful people on whatnot. All right, so let's take a look in here. Let's get in there slowly. You know, we didn't give them a little hubla hubla hubla. You're right, we didn't give them any hubla hubla hubla. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got your sneak peek. We got another note in this one. Let's take a look. Here are a few more things. Have fun, Faith. You know who. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you so much, Faith. Oh, we are having so much fun. <laughs> so much F-U-N. Thank you. Okay, so on top here, we have some... Oh, my goodness, Whoa. dude. This is amazing. We have a SpongeBob gift bag. I think it's huge. I, another item. I had one of these. One of my birthday parties, I had this SpongeBob gift bag. 
That is so cool. So just an old school SpongeBob gift bag there. We have a Rugrats gift bag as well. These are our big wow. bags. This is that 90s, 2000s bag. You could afford to get kids this many gifts. True. You know? <laughs> Those are some big bags. Okay, let's see. There's one more bag as well too here. We have this OG Ooh. SpongeBob trick or treat bag here. It's a little sun bleach, but hey, that's still sick. It says, all right, make with the candy. <laughs> 38 cents. 2004, too. <laughs> what a deal, Walmart. 38 cents? Damn. Now they want 10 cents for this little bag. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you couldn't even get uh, this. I mean, this would be like $2 nowadays, I think. Absolutely. 38 cents? That's insane. We all grew up with our grandparents saying like, oh, I remember when Shoda used to cost a nickel. And you're like, ah, grandpa. No, you don't. <laughs> that there, that was never a thing, but maybe it was. Who knows? And then now we're growing up, and I'm like, I remember when soda was a dollar, and now it's like two seventy eight for a two seventy nine. You go to the liquor store or the gas station for one little freaking twenty ounce soda. They're asking two dollars and seventy eight cents. In some places, more than that. We have become them. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here next. Oh man! Oh, look man. at the green labeling in there. Okay, so let's, I don't even know where to start on this, man. Okay, so let's- I see a lot. I know, let's go ahead and grab this out right here. Whoa. Green label, 2004. Crystal gem? Crystal gem magnet, I don't even know what that means. Steven Universe? That's what I was gonna say, like, the, this guy's supposed to be a part of Steven's crew. <laughs> this is unreal. I love, I love so much how it's got the SpongeBob there and that super clean Steven Hillenburg signature. Like, there's no SpongeBob logo, no Nickelodeon, just a freaking legend signature on that. That is such a clean item. I don't even know what this is though, yeah. So it's a magnet. I mean, obviously it's got the cardboard coming through there, but it's a magnet for sure. An adorable one. But just an incredible one. I mean, if there, there's two of them. There's two of them. But they're different. They're different? They're different. Oh my goodness, you got the jellyfish and SpongeBob here. That is so damn cool. Ah. Oh. I knew you were gonna say I would open one. No, you're not. I know, I'm not <laughs> going to. If there was a duplicate of the same design, I would have opened one. But, but no, no. oh, these look too cool. Like, you guys know how I am. It looks cool by itself, but man, does it look even cooler with the packaging around it. So I, I mean, would they, hate to. You put this on side by side, I mean, they might look a little similar. <laughs> yeah, that is so cool. You can visit SpongeBob and his is salty pills on nick.com that is beautiful i've never seen like man like nowadays they want five dollars for like a magnet that literally is just like foil <laughs> folded over a magnet you see the ones i have from five below these ones i love five below five below is amazing they're killing it but these magnets are like three to five dollars in some cases these guys right here were probably about that same cost and this is like a porcelain mold of spongebob only something you get with that vintage quality man these crystal gem would you me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now you want to get some uh, earth magnets. You're talking about this cube with earth magnets like $22. Wait, it says it holds notes, recipes, and phone? I mean, I guess anything that you put behind the, the magnet, it could hold posters. Is, well, how does it hold phone messages? You write the message down, you put them on, oh, the, on okay. the paper. You know, you, you, can, you can hold the di diplomas. You can, <laughs> you can hold whatever you want it to be, baby. Oh, that is just beautiful, though, that quality on the old school stuff. Another thing that we didn't realize how, like, when I remember when I was a kid, our parents were like, oh, yeah, they don't build stuff like they used to. If they can see the stuff we get now, they'd be like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's keep it going here. Next up, we have another one of these little bags Ooh. here. This one's got a little bit of a more of a backpack style to it as well, but it's got that glitter as well, green label, and this is also from Dollar General, so an amazing little pickup right there. Like, I'm telling you, Faith was literally doing what we do on this show before we were even able to buy something, you know? Like, before really, we yeah. even had money. I mean, I never, I never had a dollar until I was 18. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the fact that she was doing this like before any of us she's like the og comfort cartoons amazing oh dude this is sweet you have the kids choice awards what 2003 music cd general mills yes yeah, so this must have been inside of the cereal back in the day general mills like you said 2003 man here's a little clip of the 2003 kids choice awards So let's take a look at some of the songs on here. We have Aaron Carter's Oh Aaron is what the song was called. Okay. Oh Aaron. Show, bro. How many do you need? You also had great hits like 
Britney Spears sometimes and most iconic of all from 2003 we have from the athletic legend r.i.p to the king aaron carter's how i beat shack because that's how i beat shack that is awesome. So we have the, the CD right there from the Kids' Choice Awards there from General Mills. An amazing piece of history there. Next up we have a, Ooh. oh my gosh, look at the stretched out SpongeBob. And even better than that, you have the Squish Patrick and they're running down the yeah, street. Yeah, that's adorable. <laughs> what the heck? And then you pop it open. You have notes inside of there too. And you can see it's got it's SpongeBob. Smallest. Look at how cute this little pencil is. This little Nick Expressions pin. <laughs> that is so sweet. Oh. So you have the little notepads though, and you can actually put these like onto something. You can even use these magnets to hold them up, your notes. But this thing in itself has a magnet on the back. And this is from 2004. This is from the Nick Expressions line. Amazing. Oh man, there is some wild stuff in here, dude. I'm excited to see it. Oh my goodness. These are SpongeBob SquarePants. Nostalgic. What the heck? Toothpaste samplers samplers they're samplers for the toothpaste we have a couple of these thanks to our man limestone these ones right here but we do not have these versions right here of these spongebob sample toothpaste that is so freaking cool man dude i love his outfit got, yeah like, hawaiian shirt on <laughs> yeah what does it say on it says a friend they'll love for smiles you love. That's such a, that rhymes. Oh, and then look behind here, dude. I don't want to take it off, but you can see the Dora toothpaste, and also you can see two different SpongeBob toothbrushes. I had this one growing up, the, the automatic one. And the SpongeBob Colgate itself. Yep, and then the actual toothpaste. Wow, and then the back, they have some regular Colgate total for your parents. Yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, this is like what they gave out of the dentist back in the day. That is so sweet. What in the world even is this? This is a four feet tall, touch and talk poster. Called so, What Ups. <laughs> what Ups? What Ups is what's up. Look at the poster, dude. The poster is dope. You got Squidward running in the background. Patrick getting zapped. You got Plankton on the little, bu in the bubble here. And SpongeBob getting shocked. They're all kind of getting zapped by the jellyfish. It probably has like them kind of like screaming like, oh, oh you know, and different sound effects like that. No buttons or wires, batteries included, heavy duty vinyl, easy to clean or clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, here's something right here. Stop the madness. That is amazing. Now, oh, we, well, we've heard that in the arcade machine. Now I gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> That is so cool. That is too sweet. That is awesome. Oh, we have a new ornament for the Nick mystery this year. We have SpongeBob right here, and he's writing a little letter to Santa. He's got Patrick on there, Mr. Krabs, Sandy, Squidward, Plankton, even Pearl's on here. I like how everyone's got their, like, just Patrick, Gary, and his Sandy Cheeks. <laughs> yeah, that's true, it's all her whole name. And then Pearl's R in her name is a Y. Oil. Oh, yeah. Bail, <laughs> bail. Three dollars and thirty-four at Walmart. That is amazing. Uh, Man, I wish ornaments this big were this good. I mean, we got some at Target recently, and they were like five bucks. No, they were eight. They or were another seven bucks. They yeah. were seven ninety-four for this. And don't get me wrong, he's adorable. But this is like you know your unbreakable like BS, which means beach sand. BS, you know, freaking mold, you know. And I love it. It's cute. But this is far superior. The quality is better. The packaging is way nicer. And this was only $3.49 back in the day. That is crazy, the difference. Like, look at this. Look at that. We didn't know how good we had it. <laughs> we did not know how good we had it. Oh my goodness. That's, oh wow, this is 2001. Soak and grow sponges? 2001 soak and grow. We have SpongeBob and a Patrick. I actually have in the collection this SpongeBob one inflated, like pre, you know, expanded, but I did not know where they came from. So it came from this product right here by Little Kids. So there we have it, 2001. And then you've got the front cover right there as well. SpongeBob on there. This is just sweet too. Includes two sponge characters. You could use these for bath or whatever you want. They had some at this time. Uh, they'll put on screen. They had like soap pre put into them. I kind of remember those. Yeah. But it's almost like I wonder if they were more flat. Just over the years, it looks like it maybe absorbed a little bit of just the moisture. 
extra in the air, you know? It's hard to say, yeah. And kind of inflated a little bit. I mean, how flat could they really make it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they can get pretty... I mean, have you seen the SpongeBob trading card sponges? Oh, They're yeah, like, that's true. Literally the cards. Oh, my gosh. We have oh, SpongeBob, no. Nick Candy, Conversation Hearts. These the are the things look like they've been blackened. Yeah. <laughs> she put in a plastic bag she, for... She's like, yeah, these things are hazardous. <laughs> <laughs> these are the conversation cards, the old school, these little candies you guys probably had growing up too. They don't really taste that good, but you kind of just remind, they remind you of Valentine's you Day. You just munch on them. <laughs> yeah, they, they chew and they break apart, they're chalk, and I don't even know what flavor they are. They're just kind of sugar, I guess, that are colored. So these must have been Nickelodeon themed ones, and, and those things are. are one solid piece in there, man. I am daring enough it's to just like, open how, it up to how, see. How did chalk turn into that? Oh, you can see the gelatinous goop. Oh, they're not chalk? <laughs> what the heck? They're gummies if you're brave enough, but they are not gummies anymore. I will put it back in the plastic bag because I don't want this to secrete onto anything else, but just to be able to see the packaging like she said, that is so cool. Okay, so then next up here we have some bag clips here. So these are a bag clips for Spongebob. Yeah, the original bag clips. Yeah, green label. You have the, this one's got like a different font on it. There's like the same bag clip, but one has like a... His arms are stretched out, yeah. Oh, okay, that's what's different. The arms are stretched out here, and then this one, his arms are together, but the actual logo is different too. So it says SpongeBob bag clip, and this one just says SpongeBob SquarePants bag clip. And they're made by what looks like the same company too, just like a slight variant on each other. But man, that is a lot of fun here. Okay, next up, I think this is, Whoa. it's a little bit cracked here, it looks like, but this is a SpongeBob like pencil bag, it looks like. Yeah, it'd have to be. Yeah, that or maybe for glasses? Something, yeah. Looks... Yeah, like a glasses or a pencil case. Like I said, a little cracked up here over time, you know, which just can happen with some of the vinyl they print onto like fabric, but still just a really cool piece to see. We have a, a window snap here that says, I promise we'll always be bestest friends in the whole world. This is me and this is Daisy. Yeah. <laughs> that is very, very cute. We have this green Ooh. white label drawstring draw pouch right here. Very, very cool. Gives me Dollar General vibes with a sparkly. Yeah. We have some stickers here as well. Oh my wow. goodness. This are, these are so cool. Water would be nice. <laughs> Bring it around down. <laughs> this is such a freaking like season one, season two vibe. Amazing. Oh, I'm absorbent. Good. SpongeBob nudie Dude. pants, the classic there. And then over here, you've got the bikini bottom entry sign. You've got the SpongeBob and Patrick. These are all like classic green label designs. It's interesting too, is this one's a different label. These are by Sandy Lion, and this one's by not Sandy Lion. <laughs> or it's down here. Oh, they moved it. Yeah, it's like a different year. Oh yeah, these are two years young, older. The same ones though? 2001, 2003. That is sick. That is awesome. I don't have either of those sticker cards either. Oh my goodness, there is dude. A ton of stuff in there. No. Oh my gosh! No. This is the coolest thing I have seen in a long time. Ah! It's gonna be hard for me not to open this. Should I put this on my car? Leave my brain alone! What <laughs> the heck? Oh my gosh! This is going to physically murder me to not put on my car. Oh, because it's like, it's not just Spongebob, but it has like this really cool, like obscure Spongebob where his eyes are rolling to the back of his head. <laughs> his eyes are like twisted back. You can see the veins in his eyeballs. Oh. And they leave my brain alone. That is so cool. I feel like oh this would be gosh. like the one thing that being open would be okay. I feel like I need to. Like this is the dopest thing ever. <laughs> you can tell he's geeking out. <laughs> <laughs> that is so Stood sick. Up. <laughs> Express yourself with your own customized license plate. Oh, I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I feel like I might have to open this one. I don't know if my brain would not would let me. You know, this is going to be like me thinking about not being able to open this. Leave my brain alone. <laughs> it's rust proof. And it's exclusive 3D design. <laughs> it is so relatable. <laughs> that is so amazing. Oh, oh, my energy. I couldn't just sit there. It was too much for me to handle. Oh, leave my brain alone. SpongeBob green label wow. license plate. 2002. Oh. Okay, let's put this to the side as a, uh, you never know. <laughs> as we said in the recent video, you never know. <laughs> okay, that was incredible. What else do we got inside this little goodie bag here? We have a SpongeBob foam puzzle. Ooh. That's his full body right there. <laughs> That's actually really sick. <laughs> 
it is perfect the foam too. He works so well with like foam product because he's a sponge. <laughs> that one's from 2002. 2002 green yeah, label. These green labels just look beautiful. Green label is. <laughs> It's just the, it's the best generation ever. I mean, even that's like... Yeah, it's Green Label too. Green Labels, Green Labels across the sea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? Oh, this is perfect timing. I was just watching this episode yesterday. We have a SpongeBob Christmas Aww, stocking. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> so cute. So there we have it, SpongeBob's very first Christmas. Clean this guy up a little bit, 2005. It's got kind of the green bubble era, which we talk about is kind of like a small transition period that they did between the green label to green and white label uh it, it really wasn't there for everything green and white label was still around in 2004 but for whatever reason it was just kind of like a mixed one they put in there to kind of transition i feel like you can tell based off the spongebob font on the top here it's definitely green and white yeah like stitched in there too this is so cool okay let's see what we got here next Ooh. Ooh so we have some birthday cards here birthday boy and you got tommy as a magician here with this like classic magician's wand thing we talked about this recently at spirit halloween how that's supposed to be a cigarette holder what the heck it's supposed to be a cigarette holder that they use for the old school like magician wand huh. but i did not know that until i saw that prop piece so you open it up and it looks Ooh, cool you can actually do magic tricks with it oh wow dude this is really like in depth oh it teaches you how to do like the rabbit in the hat trick that's sick yeah that's oh this is the wand this is the wand right here here. So that's the wand. You can tie a string to it and pull it out of the hat. So you put the the hat has a little hole you can pull out that here cool. to where this piece of paper slides through it. And Angelica is your wonderful assistant, as they call her. So I feel like from knowing Faith pretty well here, Rugrats and SpongeBob were like her two big things. And that's that's probably for good reason. <laughs> I mean, that's just the top top two, top three of both. One's for sure number one. Top two, Rugrats and like maybe Fairly Odd Parents. I mean, that's for me. But I mean, you guys can let me know what your big th top three is. Next up we have, oh, we do not have this. The Rugrats movie coloring book. Oh, why is that logo so nostalgic? I feel like every coloring book I had as a kid had this logo. The land dolls, yeah. 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 So these are all coloring book images from the Rugrats movie here. Wow, man. That finished the picture where Tommy has no eyes. <laughs> I feel like that picture is pretty finished. <laughs> Just do the eyes, but you know what? I kind of like it like this. <laughs> then you have some more over here. You got Dill with no face. This is like some kind of creepy like Coraline like vibe. Like <laughs> you just draw the button eyes. <laughs> Yeah, it's something. It literally takes you through the whole, you could draw the whole movie. That is literally the end of the movie right there with the Viking hat on and everything. That's so sweet, man. I love that. That's an amazing one. So we also have in here, uh, but oh! No way. We got Michael motherfishing Jordan and the Space Jam, don't call me dog, painting coloring book. So look at Michael J right there, man, a legend. And then you have the collect eight books, build a team jam. That is so cool. You have the Lola Bunny right here who first appeared in Space Jam. She did not exist as a character until this. And you know, Bugs Bunny, you, you don't call it a doll. Oh man, so you have them all doing their dunks and different stuff like that from the actual oh my film. Oh of course, sweetie. <laughs> that is just so awesome. I love this. We have some more. So I think these are all coloring books here, man. So let's put this one here because we have some other Rugrats movie one. We have another one with Ooh. Tommy here. Another Rugrats the movie one. We have another Rugrats the movie one here. What the heck? This is the paint with water where I think all you do is just put water in it and then you can actually paint like through there. Oh, you probably just tap the water on the top little. Yeah, yeah that's, that's such a freaking like, that was like, Top in technology for us. You just touch this and boom, you got red you could use to actually paint from these. Like this is the color right here. We have the Rugrats in Paris movie jumbo coloring book. Oh no, she did it! The Pokemon! Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh! I had one of these. Oh my goodness, I had one of these. Collector series? This is the one I had! This is the one I had! <laughs> number one and number two, yeah. I remember this. 
<laughs> and they had cards you could cut out, I think, somewhere in there. Look through it, see there's one in there. So you have the Machamp right there, <laughs> dude. Look at that guy. You got Pikachu. Look how it's like freaking the Furo, like the starting moment of the show where Pikachu like almost dies. It's a little sad. <laughs> oh, man. This is so freaking nostalgic, there dude. There's the legend Gengar, my favorite Pokemon of all time. <laughs> Oh, and these, the tattoos, and the tattoos are stickers. There's both. Oh my goodness, I remember having these too as a kid. Wow, what a trip. Waves of nostalgia. You can pick which one you want to draw, it looks like. Oh, I see Brock in the background. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> a floating head. With this luxury ball or whatever this is. <laughs> it's like you're before the luxury ball. Amazing, so we have the coloring book. Number one and two for the collector series. Anything that's Pokemon is collector series. You know, because they were like really in on that like aspect of it. Hell, we know you're gonna collect this. Yeah. Okay, we have some more in here too. So next up we have some books here. Look at Michael damn Jordan. Don't Lola time in. Yeah, a lot of Lola stuff. Yeah, I mean, she was like the female character of that film, so it was like cool to be able to represent her. And then we have Good. monsters <laughs> go to court. <laughs> The monsters go to court. That's funny. <laughs> oh, wow. And you got some stickers in there, too. That's cool. Some nice stickers. Oh, they use a dampened sponge on it. What? Wait, what? So they're paper that you damp them, and then they stick to the paper. Oh. Look at that, man. That's peak performance. Peak human condition. <laughs> this is like the peak of man kind in athleticism <laughs> just freaking amazing <laughs> who's guarding michael jordan ain't nobody gonna guard him yeah i mean who you might as well put five people here or put nobody and it's basically the same thing yeah <laughs> nobody can guard your jordan i guess you're supposed to take those pictures yeah and throw them on here. and put them as defenders and stuff that was cool oh man this is just keeps getting crazier dude i don't know what this is but this is like one of those early like weird products we find it like ross and stuff this is a cami and bikini a sponge Bob bikini set here. What the heck? <laughs> In an ice cream cup. That's cool though. Made into a summertime ice cream cone. That is so freaking cool. Like this is like the earliest version of these. Because back in the day, remember they had like those family guy boxers? Yeah. And they would always come in like these tins like this on screen. And maybe it was like a Pontucket brewery like can. And inside of there's like a pair of socks. For like Homer Simpson with the duff like beer cans. Yeah. Yeah, like they were like good gifts, you know, you can give people. This was like the junior banana split like version of that that is a cool product okay let's keep it going here oh my goodness you have spongebob in a bathtub what the heck? That's this, so cool. this little spongebob in a bathtub here it almost reminds me of the one on the top of the uh bubble soap but it's like a separate little figure it's a squirter. oh it's a water squirter that's awesome what are you waiting for that's cool i have this sponge again didn't know where it came from oh look and there's a patrick one too oh that's cool <laughs> spongebob and patrick water squirters and sponge Oh no, we just talked about this, how this was like the only, somebody on Whatnot asked us during a stream, is there any other, like is there any products of Spongebob on the back of the Green Label products of him like toting the actual Nicktoon? This specific image. This specific image, exactly. And I said there's this one right here that was from, I believe, a Kinder Surprise or like a candy that they had in Mexico and some other places as well. A really cool set. And this is the only one I could really think of besides like some images. But my my goodness, was I wrong. I have a new one to talk about. Oh. Yes. You have the sponge and squirter. That is such a good size one. Yeah, where the squirter is actually SpongeBob in that little boat. That is amazing. 2002 on that one. Other wow. characters also available. So that means there probably is a Sandy and also a Gary based off the image in the back. That'd be sick to see. Yeah. Okay, so we have some more here too. These are grow sponges. So these are SpongeBob Ooh. and Patrick by KB Toys. KB Toys, which if you know what a KB Toys is, shout out to you. You put these inside of them and they grow in 72 hours. They'll be five times, five times the size that they were when you put them in. So that would be from this to like this. That would be wild to now, see. Now that's impressive. That's impressive. Amazing. Green and white label too. Oh, what? There's actually like old school merch in here too? Like clothing? We have some SpongeBob boxers. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> are those boxers or are those shorts? They're shorts. Are box? They're boxers. And it says, "Talk nerdy to me." SpongeBob nerdy pants. Yeah, talk nerdy to me. They got a smooch. Yeah, you you know you'd be getting that if you wore those. <laughs> and it still has the tag in there too. Brand Walmart. new. Walmart. Walmart three seventy five. Yeah, right. <laughs> Did you know Squidward <laughs> is actually an octopus? Yeah, I did. I did know. Yeah. With six tentacles. This is sick, dude. This is just sick. When the heck did that come out? Only in 2005 is this a large. That's a large? This looks like a much bigger than a large for sure. We have another one too. Ooh. Large as well. Large and it inside. says, hooked on you. That now is this, sick. Now this is a panty raid. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. And this one has a little fact too. It says, what is the doormat outside? <laughs> it <doesn't> get old. <laughs> It does. It's like Michael Scott's, uh, that's what she said. It never, it just gets better each time I do it. <laughs> like, okay, I've heard it. I've heard it enough. <laughs> Next up, we Ooh. have some really cute SpongeBob socks here. And it says four to 10 years old Christmas socks. Yeah, exactly. And it has a to and from right here, two ninety seven. Yeah, right. Walmart.com. Walmart had the hookups. Really cute set right there. Those would go great with my shirt. Yeah, actually. Next up here we have from Russell Stover's Candies, we have a Looney Tunes uh, foil wrap solid chocolate balls. So you know those classic milk chocolate balls and the little wrapping paper you get them off? That thing is like a big one. Yeah, and you always like leave like one piece on there somehow and eat up, end up eating and you're like, oh, I'm chewing on foil. Yeah. <laughs> this is from the episode I think where he made up the wooden cutout of Tweety and yeah. he was like painting it. That is really cool. Okay, so this is sweet. We have a tangy SpongeBob candy and sticker from 2003. Tangy. Yeah, a little Easter egg with the sticker and all that stuff still inside of it and then not just that we have the crispy coins and i'm pretty sure i know what coins these are ryan put these spongebob chocolate coins on screen these were like literally like spongebob doubloons that had the logos on it and everything and the chocolate i'm, I'm pretty sure that that's what's in there i don't want to open it though i don't want to risk it but you have this little tin which is freaking so cool and you've got the little clasp on there you have the spongebob branding on the side as well brand new little lunchbox style 10 we can add to the collection there we have some mini ornaments here so these are a bunch of spongebob the littlest most adorable most purest of ornaments here a little set too look at them oh my gosh <laughs> A bunch of little tiny SpongeBob ornaments. Mm, what's the best one? The best one? Oh, I mean, you could make your own choice, but for me, I gotta say, maybe this one of him laughing. That one's solid. I like this one where he's like kind of innocent, like, oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so next up here, what do we got? Look, SpongeBob Tupperware! No way. SpongeBob Tupperware! And there's stuff inside. Oh! I. Ah! Ah! Do you know what these are? It looks slightly familiar, but I can't quite tell. How? Is that cookies or something? How, Faith? How did you manage to keep these in this good a shape? This is unbelievable. Are those little cookies? These are the hand-designed SpongeBob cookies. I think they released them in 2008, 2009. Ryan will put them up on screen. That's one of those products that I grew up with and I remember seeing and I thought there was no way any of these could still be in existence. And yet again, Faith has surprised me. And there's someone out there that has them. <laughs> and look how well preserved they are. Whoa. That looks like you could eat this right now. It, and, it probably wouldn't be good. It but. probably wouldn't be good. And it probably calls the question, how is that well preserved? The ingredients? Yeah. But it somehow did it. We need to get the, the company who saran wrapped this in NASA. Because they did a damn good job. They did an amazing job. But more than that, Faith did an incredible job. I'm trying to find the year on this. 2009. Yeah, so 2009 is when they released wow. these cookies. Oh I, my goodness. I would have had a problem if I saw those at the store. From what I remember, they were good. They right. were really good. I would have bought like 10 at a, at a time. <laughs> that one is adorable. Ah, the SpongeBob one! The SpongeBob one! <laughs> Look at how well designed it is. 
Krispy Kreme. Some other company redo these Whoa. again. I mean, they are perfect. They're amazing shape. And then you have another that, one. That's the best one. With SpongeBob with his tongue out, a little classic. This is like the the jellyfishing or like tongue out, you know, slam dunking SpongeBob one. That is incredible, dude. That these are preserved so incredibly well. And I will take the responsibility of keeping them in this good of shape very seriously. I'm just gonna put them right back in this. I mean, look how many images. There's this one of his tongue out, the jellyfishing one with his tongue out. <laughs> yeah. So they were in there like this. I'm gonna. I mean, this SpongeBob Tupperware container is perfect for this. Wow. Oh man, I don't even, we might scan these, but I don't want to risk these things getting damaged in any way. Careful. This is like museum level crazy quality. You gotta be extra careful putting that thing on. Put this Tupperware container, lock him in, national treasure style. Saran wrap that guy. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants Tupperware. I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know Tupperware was a thing. That's amazing. It's not the only one. She has another Tupperware piece inside no here. No way. And I don't know what's in it, but let's check it out. Oh my goodness. A Iron Giant keychain. <laughs> And it's a lenticular like style of him like picking up the kid, I think. There's also been like some promotional item they uh, had. Oh, there's a lot of images in that one thing. That's a that's like it's the like whole. He's running. <laughs> it's like the whole movie if you keep going like in 360. Yeah, he's just, <laughs> you're running with the kid. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. This is a really cool bag tag too for luggage. Like you wouldn't miss it. You wouldn't miss it. You'd be the only person with the Iron Giant luggage clip on there. Oh, and an old school SpongeBob charm bracelet. Wow. And the class one, it still works. What is that last image? Oh, it's Sandy. Sandy in a red outfit, huh? Wow, let's see if I can get this thing hooked. That will not fit me. Uh, no. Yeah, but it's still very cool. <laughs> very unusual color scheme for Sandy. Yeah, you got Sandy there in her inside outfit, you got SpongeBob, and you also got Patrick there. Very, very cute setup there, though. But is her inside outfit typically red? It's purple, typically. Yeah. So next up, we have a SpongeBob Valentine's Day container. I love she put this in plastic. It's very smart because that way it doesn't get onto everything else. It looks like it is leaking over the years here. 2003, but at least just to be able to see the packaging and, you know, maybe somebody grew up with this as well, too. Crispy Chalk Hearts. So this is actually chocolate hearts, and it says Valentine's Day. You make me feel all wiggly. So cute on that one. Okay, and then next up here, we got a big one here. Ooh. We have one of, we talked about the, the uh, Garfield puzzle that you like pieced together The recently. wooden puzzles, yeah. In fan mail, here is a brand new sealed one Ooh. right here for Reptar. That's sick. The coolest one that you could have said. On the back here, they've got Tommy here from the baseball game. Ooh. They've got Angelica. And you got Chucky here with the frog. This is for sure the best one. Yeah, but I'm just dumbfounded by Tommy's massive hat. <laughs> it's an adult size hat, you know? That's a long bill. It would have been a whole different show if Little Bill was named Long Bill. <laughs> <laughs> That one's sick though, yeah. <laughs> That's I've amazing. Seen, I've never seen Reptar in this outfit. Oh yeah, there, I think there was actually a product where he came with this outfit on. That's cool. Yeah, very awesome. Okay, but it looks like we have some bigger SpongeBob stuff in here too. Oh my goodness. Now this is stuff that we have to preserve in the files here. We have the SpongeBob 2005, my favorite year of the human experience calendar. <laughs> right there. This is amazing. Look at the artwork on these. <laughs> these are so much better than the calendars of the day. You have Sandy here with like these caveman style SpongeBob's in the background. You have SpongeBob here with like Mr. Krabs and like a silhouette. You got Squidward doing the thing next to the statue of SpongeBob. This is not a patty. This is a Krabby patty. And then we have this mosaic of SpongeBob, which actually got made into a trading card. It's also a loading screen for the disc that's in there. Yeah, and you have this one right here as well. You have this awesome like Van Gogh styled SpongeBob. You have the SpongeBob nudie pants. You have a Da Vinci SpongeBob. You can lean on me, friend. And you also have Don't Tell Me. And then it says art class, and it says all the different artists in the Don't Tell Me that these are based off of. Wow. Yeah, so like you see Da Vinci there, there, you see Grant, you see Warhol. So this is, I think this is Andy Warhol right here. That yeah. is amazing. I think this is based off the farmer. 
Yeah, a beautiful calendar there, man. You don't get them. I mean, the ones nowadays just have memes. The meme ones are cool, yeah, but it's nothing like that. It's not unique like this. Next up, we have a Rugrats one. This is like a Rugrats sports-themed one here. And it's got all the Rugrats, of course, there with the football helmets. You got, ooh, <laughs> Bill and Lil with the football going on there. You got Angelica as a cheerleader. going to be on my birthday. <laughs> Give me Riptar. <laughs> Who's January? Was that Bill and Lil? Yep. Okay, so January is my birthday. You got April. Yeah! You got Tommy in the Reptar race car. I'll take it. You got the coolest one for sure. So far, yeah. Coolest birthday so far, I think, is that one. That the, the one's pretty cool too. Yeah. Michael Jordan, Chucky, playing for the Rep Team Reptar. Angelica Baseball here. Phil and Lil. Look, I'm Pele! We got our Chucky is Brett Favre. We've got Angelica, Angelica playing Dolls. basketball now too for the Dolls team, yeah. yeah. And then Tommy playing hockey too for Canadian oh, yeah. vibes. I got the best one. Yeah, <laughs> I think you did get the best one. That was an amazing one. Ooh, what is this? Oh, what is any of this? 2004 SpongeBob calendar. It's got a little bit of damage here in the front, but it's okay. It looks like it's coming apart here. Oh my gosh, another one I had, dude. I had this calendar. I had this calendar. Had it. Had it. This right here is so nostalgic. I remember the little porthole windows just like this. Dang, these are sick images. Imagination before it was even like a meme. Hey, bro. Yeah, man, let's see who, what you're getting this year. Nah, oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'll take I, the Squidward. I got the best one though, the snow episodes. Yeah. <laughs> when we're getting so knocked far. out. You guys let us know what image you got on your birthday. Ooh, July is a good one. Yeah, that's a sick one. That's oh, a good one too. They're all really good. <laughs> September is awesome. My favorite so Ooh, Oh, this October. is my favorite. October. October, oh, October yeah. is for sure the sickest. And November. November, that's a pretty good one too. You got him getting ready to head out as he as he does. Ooh, he's fun to as a Christmas tree. I gotta say October, October was my favorite. Had it, yeah. And then January, but that's also because it's my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> And then this, I don't know what this is. We'll find out. Oh, I, I know what these are. This is, Mitchell said he already knows what it is. What, oh, they're table mats. Yeah, you put your plates on them. I used to have Winnie the Pooh ones. I will so use these. Uh, I know it. <laughs> I will so be putting these on my table. Just keep one like just fresh for like display. display and then the rest. I think this is the cleanest one. I and mean, then like, you could just use this one. It works so good. It's just a display too. Like to have him just like on the back of a shelf somewhere, you know, like that works so good. It's a good like solid piece. Yeah. There's some damaged ones, like more like, you know, used up ones. Probably use like this one. Yeah, I'll probably wash these ones up a little bit and then I think they should be good. And they actually still have the logo on the back too. The actual Place green mat. label. Placemat. Yeah. Damn, dude, these are awesome. This is definitely the preserve level one though, for sure. Those are beautiful. I wish I had those as a kid, man. The Winnie the Pooh ones are sick, but this is next level. I remember I had a SpongeBob like lunch tray, and we would just use that one over and over and over again, you know? It's just until it's worn down, yeah. Yeah. And we're almost at the end here, but we have one more here. We have window sticks. So this is Ooh. a Christmas window stick for Rugrats. We have some more Christmas ones. I think they're all Christmas here so far. At Kmart. Oh, at Kmart. I used to work there. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably before your time, though. <laughs> yeah. So you have all these different oh, those are cool. Rugrats window clings. Those are really fun too. Like I remember they used to be like the doctor's office. They would have them in like the dentist or doctors yeah. and the windows and like stuff like that. They just put them in the dentist. Like, oh, we're not going to hurt you. We promise. And they do. They do. But it's okay. You need to have your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and they have the Easter one right there. So some awesome Rugrats window clings there as well. That was so much fun. So that was just the last second to last box. We still have one more box to go through. No room. <laughs> We're gonna have to make some room. All right, so let's do it. We have one more package here. And we will absolutely unwrap this with a smile. Oh yeah. <laughs> unwrap a smile. We have definitely done that here today. Let's see what we got in here. Man, I just, there's like so many things that were just mind boggling. How could he just, it's just bored. <laughs> How is there more? <laughs> what? There's some tins in here, I see. Let me take a look here. It looks like we have a note. Maybe it's a note or a card. Whoa. I'm ready. Blasting off. It's a SpongeBob card here. Dude, if someone brought that to a birthday party, I saw this big envelope. Like, what kind of freaking <laughs> document? To wish you a SpongeTastic birthday. That is the coolest birthday card ever. It's the biggest birthday card. <laughs> it's like another piece. Like, you can put this in your room as a poster. Like, after you're done with your birthday card aspect of it. Like, that would look so good just hung up anywhere. That is amazing. Okay, what do we got here? No way. Is it that crazy? Ah! Yes, it is that crazy. 
a thrift store purchase. Wait till you see what I am about to pull out. A little sneak peek. What the heck? No way. The SpongeBob Great Snail Race! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> How do you find these at a thrift? <laughs> What the heck? That's the only one I'm missing, Mitchell. I'm so hyped, okay? I've never seen this one before. Look at the finish line they're on. They're on the actual track. Oh yeah, they are. What the heck? That is so cool. And that's the only figure. We've gotten Snelly. You see Snelly up there? That's the only figure we've ever gotten of Rocky. <laughs> Patrick's actual rock pet. So, now we have the Great Snail Race. The final one we would need left is boating school. But man, I never thought we'd even get this one. So <laughs> the fact that we have it, unbelievable. So that will be going, we're gonna be moving some of these non-green and white label products out and move this to the side. And this is going right here. It's gonna look sick. It's gonna look so clean. Thank you so much for sending this in. This is a true grail. My dream is to be able to kind of preserve all the green and white label products. I I always say that was when this like everything green label is where it all started the foundation green and white label is when they really just got their stride going the show was like nostalgic already for some people to where they could make these flashback episodes but on top of that the quality on them was just unbelievable you got so many unique and cool products so this is just an incredible incredible piece oh it has nick knowledge here too do you know what oh. the doormat outside of the Bob's house. <laughs> There's probably like over like 20 to 30 questions they could have put or trivia. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't even say that. I just say it because it's funny to me. It actually says, who wins the great snail race? Was it actually? Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't it Rocky? Yes. Okay, so let's see. There's more stuff in the box. We have in the tin what SpongeBob watches 2009. Whoa. Look at how sick the tin is. This is I, yellow label. Yeah, I can't even get over that. <laughs> yellow what a, like, label. Sick display piece for a watch. Inside of here, you have this one where SpongeBob is like separated at the, that at the is mid. Amazing. A really clean watch. The freaking chrome on that, the silver. Yeah, I love how cool the display is for this. That's definitely gonna go with our tins, nonetheless. Lunchbox or not. And then you have the imagination, imagination one there too, with the rainbow going around it. Just a really cool display piece. Perfect little combo there. Look at this! We have a lot of SpongeBob Pezzes. Oh no. But none of them are this big. Oh! <laughs> The jumbo! What the heck? SpongeBob Pez! <laughs> That is just sweet. And you pull it back, and there you go. Like I said, that's where you put a whole cartridge. You can fit cartridges of Pez's inside of this. <laughs> this is so crazy. That's so next level. So oh, you, you don't just, just want one Pez? I got you a whole freaking slab. <laughs> yeah, you use this to load your smaller Pez's. This is an amazing, iconic piece. It will be going in the background here today. This is just so cool. Like the giantest Pez. Like, oh, you want a Pez? Pulls out a pocket. <laughs> a whole cartridge. <laughs> That is amazing, dude. Such a cool find. And this is 2011. So yellow label? Yep, yellow label. Exactly. There's a lot of... She just keeps going. She just keeps going. We have a green label SpongeBob toothbrush. It doesn't stop with the insane awesomeness. We have the Nick Candy Whoa. SpongeBob tube topper here. These yogurt covered raisins have seen better days. <laughs> it's true. Better years. And this is part of the Nick Trishan line. Ooh. Yes, that's why it's yogurt. Yogurt's good for you. We have the green label oh. <laughs> Patrick Squishable. That's adorable. It needs some new batteries, but hey, we'll make it happen. Or wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of his first lines in the series ever. 
<laughs> we have the SpongeBob one back here, but we did not have this Patrick one in here. So that is an awesome set to have here. And remember I said the rarest, like most few amount of products were in the year 2000. This is year 2000. Wow. Like some of the earliest SpongeBob products. Another item that you will see on display back here. Like I always say, not everything can fit in the cavern, but there's some items. We have to move some stuff. Maybe some stuff has to be taken out, but some things just need to be displayed. And has to be. <laughs> Next up, we have SpongeBob beverage stirs. What? Everything and anything you can think of, SpongeBob has had it. I've said this before, and proof is in front of you. SpongeBob drink stirs. <laughs> Oh, so now we have some vintage clothing, dude. And these are actually our size, XL. How? XL. That was the vintage. sickest thing I've seen. Vintage SpongeBob merch. Bikini Bottom Beach Bash and Surf Festival. And Florida, wow. Special guest MC, SpongeBob SquarePants. Get your party on Florida. I will wear this. Vintage, are you kidding me? It's so hard to find vintage SpongeBob merch because most of it was for kids. So the fact that this is a vintage, I don't know the year on it, but I'm guessing probably green label. SpongeBob shirt, that is unbelievably awesome. But that's not it, this one as well extra large this one might be for kids though extra large for kids but either way maturity is overrated that's literally the definition of this show <laughs> that's probably the sickest shirt i've ever seen it's got a crust and then e as a separate yeah, but he's an a plus an a plus and he's got his he's getting his head shaved into a mohawk <laughs> wow that, that is sick that is unbelievable. Next up, this one is, I bought this at King's Dominion uh, Park in 2005. So this wow. was at the theme park. Extra large as well. This will fit me for sure. Evil. Oh. Multiplied. Paramount Park. The Plankton Evil shirt. Dude. That, that is, is beautiful. That's, that's the best shirt. That's the best one. It's the best one. That is such a cool freaking shirt. Paramount Parks. 2005, man. You can't beat this. Like, gosh, man. There's one thing to have SpongeBob shirts, but the vintage ones and them still being adult sizes, unbelievable. And it doesn't stop there. Wow. Oh, look at how vibrant it is. You have SpongeBob surfing with Plankton. And that one's from Atlantic City, New Jersey. That is awesome. What the heck? That is so freaking obscure. That is beautiful. And look at, the, it's got the tag on it and look at what the Nick Knowledge says. Why? <laughs> 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 that is amazing. I love it so much. It's almost like a really sick tapestry piece. Yeah. Yeah. Just like as an artwork in itself. I would not even use this as a towel ever. This is so freaking cool. I'm in love with that. It's so vibrant. She really took amazing care of it. It's like literally brand spanking new vibrant. Absolutely. Okay, what else is in here? It just keeps going. We have a SpongeBob pillowcase, it looks like. Or no, a handkerchief. We have a SpongeBob handkerchief with SpongeBob and Patrick on it. We have an old school tats a lot. Oh, wow. <laughs> SpongeBob egg with tattoos. Yeah, it's, it's still going. It's, it's like you're pulling out of a freaking infinite hat. What is happening? It's like I'm in a time machine and I'm just like reaching into like a random 2004 retailer. I don't know what I'm going to pull out. It's unbelievable. You are going to lose your mind what the spongebob the movie goofy goober song and slide whistle what this is something i have never seen in my entire life rock on spongebob with the freaking goofy goober moment here with a red guitar this time the goofy goober them going down the street in the paddy wagon but it what? comes with a slide whistle and presumably instructions on how to play the goofy goober song with the slide whistle i mean i'm floored you think you have a lot of movie products and then there's just something crazy i've never seen this in my whole life of searching for products that will be so amazing here in the movie section probably one of the sickest items today because it's just so so obscure and the slide whistle the slide whistle hey you just know how that sounds yeah <laughs> We are not done yet. How? 
I don't know if you thought we were done, Mitchell, but we're not done yet. We have the SpongeBob Valentine's Day. Hugs and fishes. Oh my goodness, dude. If you get a tattoo of this, uh, the United Plankton SpongeBob, you gotta get this Patrick. Nah. <laughs> I didn't even know they had a, a Patrick for that hug stuff. I haven't seen one either, but there is. Oh, so it's a Valentine's Day coloring book. This wow. is amazing. Oh no, these aren't those aren't coloring. That's like a to and from. Those are like straight up Valentine's Oh, cards. you can draw them and add to them yourself. You're right. Even Squidward doing the thing on Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, too. Dang, that's a really good Snelly too. <laughs> that's an amazing Snelly sticker, absolutely. I heart squid. I need to get the uh, Yeah, <laughs> that is sick. Oh man, I couldn't take it off, but I would love to put that sticker somewhere. Oh, you have like Bangy Squidward, but with like a, a rap hip hop outfit on or something i don't even know what that is yeah oh and then you have the frozen face off uh disc here as well that is beautiful man i could look through these things again all day long and there's enough here to do that. So we have the Healthy Habits SpongeBob book here. So here is SpongeBob's healthy guide here. We have the freaking poop food pyramid. <laughs> I feel pyramid. like this has changed over the years. Yeah. <laughs> the top of the food pyramid is junk foods. Bottom of it is bread, macaroni, your starches. Your grains. I don't really remember how the food pyramid works, but I do remember learning about it in school. Oh, man, that looks like a very well-balanced breakfast. Dad's mug. SpongeBob is dad, apparently. Yeah, and it's so cool to kind of see, like, you know, like the deep fried coral Krabby Patty right there. Freaking scooter made out of pretzels and fruit. That's sick. That's so fun. Such a cool little thing, you know. Not everybody has somebody in their life to really teach them all those little facts, you know, and stuff that you need to really take care of yourself. And, you know, who better than SpongeBob? Who better than SpongeBob, you know? And to be able to take care of yourself is a really important aspect of life. Even as you go into adulthood, you know, taking care of your teeth, taking care of your body, it can one, save you money and also give you a longer life. And, you know, those type of habits you form as a kid, you know? So it's really hard to get on those diets dietary habits, those dental hygienic habits, unless you were like kind of doing it as a kid. And thankfully, you know, my mom helped me pretty well for the most part on that aspect. But at the same time, you know, yeah, definitely having books like this and, you know, those little Nick commercials that would come up about health and the food pyramids and different stuff like that in the media definitely helped me with kind of understanding those things. And this book definitely would have been one of those things. Being a little late 2011 or 2010 though, probably wouldn't have read this as a kid, but it's still really cool to see. Oh my goodness. Faith, you went so freaking hard in this freaking video. You've outdone yourself. You've outdone yourself. I may have never earned that phrasing, <laughs> but you, Faith, you've outdone yourself. This is too Whoa. damn sick. Whoa. This is so dope. Hold your seahorses. Look at the gold it's, on the flames. And it's like embossed, dude. Oh my god. Of Neptune scepter. What the trident. That is unbelievably dope. Like this could have just been a cover. It but, could have been. <laughs> but they were like, let's make this thing gold. Gold. Unreal. The SpongeBob movie coloring book with the gold font, gold trident. Oh man. You get the SpongeBob movie logo in there. You have the intro of the movie, him waking up from his dream. Hey, it's gonna be okay, sir. All his past employees of the month. Oh, it's like a whole like, it's, activity book. It's just like this one. It goes through the entire movie but you can color it along the way there's him waiting for the promotion there them at goofy goober uh, taking out all their their bad energy oh man every page of this is just golden now they're men now that they're men we could follow a b c now that we're men they could do anything wow amazing so two brand new SpongeBob movie products that are just Jeez. golden, literally. That is one of the coolest covers I've ever seen on anything. Especially for SpongeBob. Yeah. Next up, we have... Uh, now, where are you pulling these from? Sorry, my brain had to restart. There's no way you would ever see these, ever. Where are we? Uh, apparently wherever Faith was at. <laughs> what in the world? I wanna cry. It's so beautiful. <laughs> You have the SpongeBob movie book here. With grow your own SpongeBob, just add water. Like in the scene where he puts the hose in his body to clean himself out. You get SpongeBob's right here to put in water. They are a little dried up 
you know, looking like they remember when they made chocolate. Yeah. But at the same time, that is incredible. Yeah, All of these coloring books. Yeah, another SpongeBob movie book. That is so freaking cool. And you can cut out all the pieces in the back here and make your own scene as well. Let's take a look at the pages on this one. Is it all the morning routine shots maybe? Okay, so yeah, oh, it's yeah. like his morning routine here. Them talking about the Krusty Krab too. I'm Plankton ready. looking. So yeah, it goes through the movie. I'm Aww. ready. He's even more sad in this one. There is some slight variance on them though to make them different. But this is so cool how they did some aspects to make them unique. Like you have the absorbing sponges here along with the whistle. Like this is just... Just a cool, just an amazing setup here. All right, next one up, what do we got here? We have, uh, oh, Ooh. a new SpongeBob chapter book. 24 pirate joke book. Oh no, not a joke book. <laughs> Why was the Dutchman looking for clues? I, I don't even know. He was on a treasure hunt. <laughs> <laughs> They're so bad but I love them so much. <laughs> like some of them just aren't even jokes. Like why do pirate flags wave? Because of wind. To say hello. Uh, okay. Like that's, some of them aren't even jokes, but they're so amazing <laughs> that they made them. Oh, what do we have here? What is that? SpongeBob party pants here. And it says SpongeBob is throwing a mystery birthday party. Whoa, a board? And you can pop it open with this awesome little book side here. And inside is another book. Don't so there's an actual it. little book here inside of SpongeBob throwing his birthday party. So they have the birthday party here. Mr. Krabs giving him a 1% off coupon for his birthday. Oh, wow. A Thanks, whole 1%. Oh, Thanks for your cent. <laughs> No, dude, look at this. One of his toys is a paddy wagon. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's such a cool idea. It's like they should do that. Yeah, I know. It's like they did that. Ooh. <laughs> Happy birthday to the best pineapple under the sea. Love, SpongeBob. He was throwing a birthday party for his house. Oh, it was a birthday party for the house. That's so cute. That's so SpongeBob. Oh, I get it. House party. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably the coolest little pineapple piece ever. Yeah, the case is amazing for it. Okay, keeping it going here. It just keeps going? Yeah. We have a 2014 calendar, a little bit bent up here, but still amazing. Some of the uh, 2014, so you can see the designs kind of start changing a bit, you know? Yeah, these are a little more like uh, reused, I guess, nowadays. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more similar to nowadays, a little bit more generic, but it's cool to see that evolution of stuff. And another calendar that I had as a kid too. Ooh. This one right here, the Fine Arts Collection, 2006. That is sick. Yes, I don't remember all the images on it, but I do remember having this one. Surely it's like a bunch of like Van Gogh and others. Yeah. Yep, it's like a better versions of that. Like the the one we pulled out originally, but like way more detailed. Yeah, and wow. these, most of these got turned into trading cards. I remember that one. Yeah, that one's wild. That is sick. Then you have... Whoa, that's, that's the sickest one. Yeah, that's a trading card too, and it's dope as all hell. Ooh. Yep, it's you got the clock the... one, yeah, where they're all melting. Ooh. That one's sick too. I couldn't I didn't know where all these trading cards came from. Now I know it came from the calendar. That's too cool. <laughs> Amazing setup there. That was awesome. It's so crazy how like iconic like Van Gogh is that even now Pokemon has done a collab with Van Gogh. Yeah. So on that note, I think <laughs> no more heart attacks. It's over. It's over. There was so much amazing stuff to go through. My jaw hurts. <laughs> I, am in, I am in. I have goosebumps of just the nostalgic electrocutions that I've gone <laughs> through in this video. So many cool things to add to the collection. Of course, anything. There's so many items here that we don't have. So. So majority of this, some of it will be going on display or going into the vault just to preserve it because there are so many things, there's like very, almost none of this stuff is duplicates of anything we have already. So amazing, thank you so much. I can't wait to add some of this stuff to the collection. Stay tuned, of course, we're gonna add some of this stuff to the collection. We're gonna put some of this stuff on display. But before that, oh, we got a lot to scan. Yeah. You know the drill, scan it. Okay, so we have all of Faith's stuff done. It is labeled and everything, so let's go ahead and check it out. You can see on the back of this book right here, we got Faith's name here. You can see down here as well, we got Faith's name. And we also have it on some of these smaller items right here as well too. 
So we're gonna add some of this stuff to the collection. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, and for the biggest thing, of course, I needed to add it in here, and that is the Great Snail Race. It looks beautiful in here. We are gonna have to open up some space to get that last one, which is the Mrs. Puff's Driving School, but I, I really wanna get that one now because that's the last one we need. We have a couple other episodic figures and plushies to get, but as far as the main ones I wanted to get, this line right here and this line, we only really need one left, so I'm hoping we can get that down the line. But it looks beautiful right there. And of course it has space label on it as well. I think it looks incredible. I cleaned up our green label shelf there as well and added a couple little items. We need to get some more little mini figures to go up here. But besides that, it looks perfect. So thank you again so much for sending that in Faith. Okay, and for the giant Pez dispenser, I went ahead and put it right here on the Galay Grub or Galley Grub. There was a couple items here. We moved some stuff around, but every now and then we have to retire some stuff to the vault in order to give some new blood a chance at some screen time so the giant pez i think it looks perfect over here because we have so many different candies and snacks going on so to show some representation to pez as a whole i went ahead and took a couple pez dispensers out and decided to put this jumbo one here so i think it looks fantastic there and that's where it's going to be sitting for a little while okay so for the spongebob movie display of course you guys know this is all the movie related products we got the goofy goober patrick here if you know where the goofy goober spongebob is let me know <laughs> that would be awesome there but we have the spongebob movie book here we even got Jimmy John's number 48 here for the movie car that was driven at the time so I decided to add over here the coloring books along with all the other books that were released for the movie to be honest because the coloring books are paper I wanted to make sure they're really preserved I'm not even gonna be putting them with the rest of the coloring books just because it's the movie coloring books and it makes them so awesome I wanted to kind of have them a little bit bolted back there in the back but still have it in our movie display so we can keep adding up all these different SpongeBob movie items that we find along the way so I did a little bit of reorganizing there and that's where all the coloring books are. More of these green label figures that I find, the more I'm gonna be putting up here. I just think that they fit perfectly and they're so cute as well. I think right now, besides of like the porcelain ones here, I actually have them all up here on this style shelf. And we got a couple here on top of the bubble bath as well too, but for right now, those will stay there. I decided to add the Patrick one right here too. I did turn the speaker off because... <laughs> He's very easy to get triggered on his audio, but I put him right next to this other Patrick that's also from the Green Label era, but you can tell the difference just from a couple of years. This is 2003 Patrick versus the first release of product 2001 Patrick. So I'm putting that guy right back there though, because he's a little easier to see comparatively to the smaller ones. Okay, so up here I have all the different SpongeBob houses in a different size variations, and I decided to add the SpongeBob party pants one right back here. A little tougher to see, but you guys can see it fits in good because it's nice and thin too so a new additional pineapple to our uh pineapple community up there okay so for all these spongebob and different rugrats coloring books these are all going in the coloring books and activity section i took out all of the doubles that we had so there we go we slide these guys right in there some amazing ones to add to this collection i mean we have a lot of different ones as you guys can see but not all of them are vintage like that so that is really cool to have some vintage ones in there and i hope to find some more of these Rugrats or Spongebob vintage coloring books. So for the Nixpressions carton around stickers, I'm gonna go ahead and put this with our Nixpressions products. Again, I'm gonna keep it sealed just like this, but I keep all these here because I'm working on a video where hopefully the more of these we get in, eventually we have a lot of doubles and I can open those up for one video hunting for all of the Nick Greets collectible cards. I just think that'd be such a cool set to complete. Ryan will put them up on screen for you guys to check it out. We have a lot of them, but definitely not all of them. And I think the hunt would be so fun to do. So I'm gonna put it in here though for right now and at least we can check this one off and if we ever get a double we've already got one and again shout out to faith h did move our little pirate section down here i wasn't getting rid of that but this guy kind of i kind of want to put him here because he fits in so well with all the other pirate stuff we got here but i don't have this chapter book in the the chapter and joke book section so let's go ahead and grab all of our joke books out real quick it's unreal how many different spongebob joke books they actually made they had to have been selling at least decently for them to make so many of them but this one we do not have the pirates joke book so i think we just about have every single joke under the sea but i'll keep looking out for them thanks again faith okay and this is just a little small guy but with this little charm brace of the spongebob one I, I it's just so small i didn't even want to put it in the vault we could just slide it in somewhere we have all these different hooks right here kind of blends in but i do like the old school vibe of it so i put it right here on one of the other hooks 
And for the yellow label watch, we don't have a lot of yellow label products in general, nor do we have any watch from that era. So I wanted to put one on. We have the other one in the vault, but this was my favorite one, the imagination one. We're gonna put this one down here just with the other Disliz watches, just to have a little bit of that uh, yellow label representation in here. Okay, so you guys know that a lot of these files, these misshaped ones are gonna be in a separate video. We're working on our filing system right now. As you guys know, this collection is always a work in progress, but this protector right here is all for like, you know, bigger size, almost full sheet size paperwork that we're filing in the collection. And most of these papers, the DVDs, the birthday cards, they're gonna be going in a separate filing format. But this one, since we already have this one worked on, we can actually add right in here because it's pretty much the same size as a full sheet of paper anyway, because it's so gigantic. So we're gonna go ahead and slide it inside of here and boom, we got another one added to our pages and this one looks terrific as well. Oh, so cool on the background. You get a little coloring book page as well. So you guys can see another new file and our full size paper binder. Okay, so the SpongeBob foods, including those lollipops and also the cookies will be going right here. You can see there's some other pretty rare food items within here. This room is a lot more temperature controlled. So I figured it'd be better to put it inside of here where it's a little bit safer. This is where I put all the food products besides the ones that we put on display. Just because like I said, the temperature is is pretty much always consistent in here, whereas out in the cavern, it can kind of go up and down a bit. Okay, that is actually it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, smack the like button, subscribe if you're new here. Make sure you show some love down below for Faith, because again, we cannot do this series if it wasn't for people like Faith. The address will be on screen if you guys are ever interested in sending in any kind of mail, whatever it may be, as small as a letter or just some fan art. We're always hyped for whatever you guys send in. It's always so much fun to go through. And if you want to support the show further, you can go check out the Patreon where you can get into our Patreon now for only $2 a month. And you can get an extended version of this video as well as every other video that I upload on YouTube. And of course, there's other tiers, the bunch of other different perks as well. But the baseline entry is two bucks. So if you wanna support the show, I would greatly appreciate it. Huge shout out to the big Patreons of the month in the Rep Pack Royalty. Shout out to Taz Watsky. Shout out to Storm X Quick. Shout out to List of Legends. Shout out to Prismatic Phantom. Yanis Torres. It's Big Little, Kevin Nguyen, Later, A Castle, Real Queen G, Gabriella, and also Don the Whale. And if you wanna see us on Whatnot every single Friday, go sign up for Whatnot, and we're doing giveaways over there every single week. Plus, you get $15 when you sign up that you can use towards any of the collectibles that we love on this show. It's a buying and selling collecting platform, so there's plenty of stuff up there. But anyway, I'll see you guys in this video right here. I know you're gonna love it, but as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios and 